guys and welcome back to my channel so today I am back with another video and I am back with another testing video and today I'm going to be testing something that I don't really really test on my channel it's a brand that I kind of don't really shop at for the makeup if you get what I mean anyway if you read the title you'll know what this is about anyway today I'm going to be testing the new Primark eyeshadow palette this is the tropical storm one which retails at four pounds they do do quite a few of these this is the one that stood out to me the most like these colors are absolutely insane as you can see i've already done my base makeup so i can jump straight in and do my eyes also you're probably wondering oh my gosh i never knew you had pink hair how did you change your hair I now have um, pink hair. It'll probably wash out at some point and I'll probably end up going back to blonde. But for now, I really, really like it. I'm kind of digging having pink hair and doing something a little bit different to my hair. And I did get it chopped again a little bit so it's shorter and it's where it's supposed to be. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to roll into the video and show you my first thoughts on this new Primark Sheep eyeshadow palette. So let's okay, so I actually got this eyeshadow palette when I was in Edinburgh, so you might have to check your local Primark because Primark beauty varies in different Primarks. So you may not get this eyeshadow palette in your local Primark store or it might be in the bigger ones. I'm not 100% sure. But I wanted to give it a try because it's only £4 and it also gives me Urban Decay vibes so bad so I wanted to see how good it is. Also the shades are absolutely insane as you can see. It's kind of got some like new nude shades, it's got some mattes, it's got a mixture of shimmers, it's got this really dark black here um, and they all have shade, range, shade names on them as well so I'm going to try to stick this as shade range as best as possible. Pretty much four pounds for an eyeshadow palette isn't too bad. I also just wanted to put out there that Primark Beauty are also cruelty free. As for the packaging, like I said, it gives me bad Urban Decay vibes. Like this just screams out to me Urban Decay. I think it's the whole like cloudy blue sort of packaging. If when you go into like an Urban Decay store or you go into like the store in store in Debenhams, you'll see that a lot of it is like this. Also at the back where they have the shades and like the shades in a crushed form and um, with the whole text everything it just reminds me so much of urban decay i don't know if this is a dupe for a particular urban decay palette because obviously like the naked palettes are more long pans and i'm pretty sure they don't really have an eyeshadow palette like this but the packaging nevertheless reminds me of that the only thing is obviously it doesn't come with a mirror it just comes in like a normal cardboard packaging it doesn't come with a box or anything but this is only four pounds like i did mention like i said there's a mixture of mattes and shimmers in here which excites me so much because i love a good eyeshadow palette that has a mixture of mattes and shimmers i am such a shimmer sort of gal i'm more of like a cut crease with a shimmer um, I don't normally use like all these brown shades either so it would be good to do something a little bit different on my eyes today so I'm actually gonna do some swatches and insert some swatches for you so you've got an idea of what it swatches like I always say in my videos swatches don't always reflect what they look like on your eyelid it could swatch painfully awful and look okay on the lid if you want some swatches I'm just gonna insert some right now so you can have a little look and a little gander Okay, so these are the swatches of the whole palette. They didn't swatch the best, as you can see. Like, some of them swatch absolutely awfully. I will say that this blue shade in particular, which is the shade Thunder, swatched absolutely awfully. Shadows just come across as very, very chalky. You'll literally be swatching it and you'll have bits of the shadow just come off and it's like chalk. So, they're not the best swatches in the world, but like I did mention, sometimes you can get really, really bad swatches and they can look alright on the eye. So, let's see what they look like on the actual lid. As you can probably tell from my face, I've actually done my base makeup and um, for my foundation I use my autumn coverage and um, highlighter I use my Colourpop one in I can't remember what shade it is but I use my Colourpop one uh, brows I just use my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow and my bronzer today is the Sunkissed Hello Sunshine which I've actually started to love so I'm gonna prime my eyelids like I normally would so it's fair I'm gonna prime my eyelids using my P Louise base in the shade 0.5 I use this for every single eyeshadow and um, I just feel like this is the best paint this is the best piece this is the best base for color payoff there we go that was a mouthful but it's all right my hair I feel really edgy 
and I'm probably gonna flick it a lot this video and annoy the shit out of you, but it's fine. I've already done my brows and I already carved underneath my brows. Do you know what? As far as brows go, mine aren't looking too shabby today. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that they have been a lot worse than this. Like I just put a bit of my P. Louise base at the back of my hand. I'm running out of this one, but it's fine, guys, because I've got another one in my drawer. We love a prepared queen. That's too much. Gonna roll with it. It's fine. Still have a bit of a cough, by the way, in case you can't tell, and a little bit of a cold, which is why I sound like I'm dying, but I'm feeling a lot better, so thank you for all the love. Normally, I just take my flat Spectrum A18 brush from the Disney Aerial Collection. I just take a little bit from the back of my hands, and then I just pat it on my lid. And then I did mention this in my other video, but I just take a cheap brush from eBay and it's just a cheap fluffy brush. You can use any fluffy brush and I just pack the base in just so it's nice and smooth. Okay, so next up I'm going to go in with the actual eyeshadow palette. Don't ask me what I'm doing because I don't have an actual clue. I'm going to take this plastic packaging bit off. I hate plastic packaging. Save the world, save stop using plastic because it's annoying and no one wants it. As you can see you get another plastic bit that has the shade names on that's currently on my floor. Once again save plastic. Firstly I'm going to go in with my first shade. I was going to use this shade first but I actually really want to use this shade. This is the shade Delight and I'm going to take this in my crease. I don't know if you can see it. Did I show it properly? I don't know. I'm going to take this on my Colourpop E2 brush. There is quite a bit of fallout on that. Let me just show you. Okay, so you might be able to see in the pan there, there was quite a bit of fallout when I dipped into that shade. Fallout doesn't bother me that much though, but I know it does bother some people. So uh, yeah, there was a little bit of fallout in that shade. But it's fine. We're going to roll with it. We're going to keep it going. And I'm just going to put Delight in the crease. Okay, well, it's showing up. That's always a good sign. I'm just going to kind of, like, pack it all on my lid. Not intentionally, because most probably I'm going to do a cut crease. But because I'm using a big brush, it's just easier. Um, normally I do use, like, a smaller packing brush in my crease, but I haven't washed it. So that's just the reality of going on holiday and then coming back and filming a video. I did find that colour quite patchy. Like, it is pigmented, but I don't feel like it went on as smooth as it should have done. It looks like a very, very patchy matte shade. Um, but it's fine because we'll dip back into it after we've put our next colour on. But next up, I'm going to take this lighter one here. This is the shade Creme. And I'm going to take this just above this one, which was Delight. Take this on my Morphe M513 brush. Only because it's very, very fluffy. I don't know how well it's focused, but there was a lot of fallout, as you can see. Well, they're blending nicely together. I'll give it that. Like, those two shades, like Creme and Delight, really did blend well together. And we also have to remember that this is literally a £4 eyeshadow palette. Like, if some of the shades are a little less pigmented than expected, it was literally four pounds, like, come on. Nevertheless, like, it's still picking up pigment. It's not a bad palette so far, but I have only used two shades, so we'll see. I feel like that looks really, really nice on its own, um, but just because I want to test as many shades as possible, I'm going to take this gorgeous, like, orangey shade down here. This is the shade Posy, and I'm just going to work that in where we just put creme as well. So I'm just mixing the two together. Okay, like I did mention, that blended really nicely together. So I'm just going to go back in with Delight and I'm just going to pack that into my crease a little bit more. I'm going to try and take this flat brush for it and see if that works and just start packing it in. Okay, that's a lot better with like a packing brush. And then I'm just going to go back in with Creme and Posy down here. I'm going to mix those two together again and I'm just going to blend out the edges. Okay, next I'm going to do a good old cut crease. So I'm just going to take some more of my P. Louise base that I have left at the back of my hand. And I'm just going to use that to cut my crease. Also, with my cut creases now, I find it so much easier to just pat it. I used to swipe it all the time and like... It was just a huge ass mess. It just ends up being neater. 
Okay, so next I'm going to take another fluffy brush, this is the Spectrum B06 brush, and I'm going to take this black down here, and I'm just going to pack this in my outer corner, because I'm very intrigued to see how well it works. That's actually a really nice black. Like, I am not, like, a smoky eye black sort of person at all. And I never normally put, like, blacks in my outer corner anymore. That's nice because some blacks can be, like, too pigmented. Whereas that one is just, like, the nice right amount. I'm just going to take that brush with Creme and Posey on. Just to blend out the edges. And then, next up, I'm going to take... I think I'm going to take this pinky one here. This is the shade Dusk. And I'm just going to pack this where I put the cut crease. That looks so pretty. I feel like they looked a lot more glittery in the pan to what they actually came out like. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I feel like the first layer is like pure like glitter as you can see on this one. Um, and then when you dig down a little bit deeper. Let me try and zoom in. When you like dig into the pan a little bit more you can see that it doesn't go as glittery. Like you can see the indent in there. Next up for my lower lash line I'm just going to take this one again which is the shade Delight. And I'm just going to run this along the bottom and then for my inner corner I've been saving this one down here this is the shade frost and I'm just gonna take this to brighten everything up okay so I don't think that's showing up on my inner corners as much as I'd want it to so I'm just gonna spray my brush using my PS primer water and I'm going to see if it will pick up any more pigment that way. Ah, there we go. That's better. Okay, so I think from that I've discovered that these shimmers probably work best if you wet your brush, which is fair enough. I just don't normally like wetting my brush because I feel like it just ruins the shimmers. Then for mascara, I'm going to use my Soap and Glory Thick and Fast. Thick and Fast. Thick and Fast Mascara. I don't normally use this that much anymore, but I used to use it like pretty much all the time. So we're going to make it have an iconic comeback. And then finally for lips, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Bear It All. This is my favourite like nude everyday sort of lipstick ever. I'm still yet to find anything that will top it for literally like, I think they're like 2 pounds 3 pounds something like that. Okay, so that was my full review and first impressions of the new Primark Tropical Storm eyeshadow palette. Like I did say, I'm pretty sure they have three designs of these four pound ones. Honestly, I think this this was a good eyeshadow palette. It definitely did have pigment. It's definitely good if you want more of like a neutral look, but you can definitely dress it up a little bit more with the shimmers. I wouldn't say that these eyeshadows were formulated terribly. I wouldn't say that they were the best cheaper eyeshadows that I've used in the world but I would say that it's definitely worth picking up at the end of the day it's only four pounds which in my opinion is super super affordable for an eyeshadow palette that has pigment and that you can definitely use it's not like it's not usable overall I think it went okay but if you did enjoy this video then don't forget to smash it a big massive thumbs up and also feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already make sure you do also tap that little bell down below so you are notified every single time I post a new testing video a little bit like this one as always all my social media links will also be linked right down below and that includes my instagram where i also do do instagram video tutorials and makeup pictures on there so if you want to follow me for more then feel free to once again thank you so incredibly much for watching and hopefully i will see you on my next video bye <laughs>